Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to continue rolling through with our Ajax tutorial series. So in the previous tutorial, what we figured out was how to start out with our page and not have any content on there so far, but if we click load Ajax content, it will actually get that information and display it on the screen just like we wanted to. But I have a little situation for you guys. Let's say if this div did not start out empty. Let's say this div had some content in it. So let's just say initial content. Okay. What would happen if we refresh this page and we clicked load Ajax content? Let's say we didn't want that um, content to just be replaced, but we wanted the text that was coming in to actually be linked with this new text. So the old text and the new text be linked together. Well, as you see, when we click load Ajax content, it just overwrites that content. We click it again, initial content goes away. But what we want to do is we want to say initial content and then have a space and then have the new content. So this is kind of like appending to the, the to what is actually in the div. So instead of overwriting it, we're just adding a little bit to that div. And as you can see, that's actually a lot easier than you might have thought. All we have to do is in within javascript.js, you see this um, information here. And what it is basically saying is, I want to take all of the response text and I want to overwrite everything in the div and just place this response text into the div. But what if we said, I want to take what is currently in the div and I want to take the response text and then put it into the div. Well, in order to do that, you can just highlight all of this and copy it and then come on this side and then just paste it and do a plus. So now that what this is saying is, I want to take all of the response text and I want to take everything that is currently in the div. I want to put those two things together and then I want to put all of that back into the div. So if we save this and then we come back in over here, refresh the page, now you see initial content. You click this and now you see it will append that information. So it will put both of them together and then it will plop it in the div. But, as some of you might have already figured out, there's actually a shortcut to writing this. Instead of writing this on both sides, all you have to do is take this one out and just say plus equals. And it means the exact same thing. So this is how you add content to the end of whatever div that you want. Instead of just overwriting everything in that div, you will figure out what is in the div, then you will figure out what the response text is, you will put the two together, and then you will display it on the screen. And again, to see how it works, it starts with initial content, you click the button, and now you get more information. It appends them together pretty cool. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.